Hey my ninja warriors, I know that this is the kind of video that you are always waiting for. Only two months are remaining for your J Main 2026 first attempt and it is very important to know whether you are spending or wasting your time on important topics or not. So here I am in front of you and I'll be talking about those seven topics or those seven models on which NTA gives question every year. And you know what? I am not talking about this randomly. This, this, these seven question, by the way, let me tell you, seven plus one, one bonus I have added, one bonus category I have added. So yes, these seven plus one questions, you can say, or topics is based on five year trend analysis that I have done it myself. Okay, so you all know that your Ninja Mab is teaching since more than 10 years. So I have been seeing the pattern. I have been seeing these seven short, short topics that are going to be there in your J-Main 2026 also. Ninja Mab's prediction, right? Are you, are you ready for the Ninja Mab's prediction? Yes, so let's start with topic number one. Okay, I think this is the topic everybody is aware about. The chapter name is 3D Geometry and you know what? Shortest distance between two skew lines. You know what? The frequency in every attempt is so high from this topic. Almost every shift is containing a question related to shortest distance between two skew lines. The question which you are seeing right here is nothing but from J Main 2025 only. And you know what? I have taken academic sessions. You can go and check out on the channel. Okay. I'll attach also in the description box that where to study these topics from. Okay. So I have given ninja technique or ninja style of calculating shortest distance between two skew lines. Okay. If you go by normal general method, method you will almost spend two to three minutes. But if you go by ninja style of this question, by the way, I have made a shorts also for this, these type of questions. Okay. So if you go by ninja technique, the question will be much easier and within one minute, you would be able to do such questions. Okay. All right. This is topic number one. Short, short question is going to be there. Before I go into the topic number two. Okay. Let me tell you, these are the comments which we got from your side. And uh, this is a huge response which we are getting every day every day thousands of comments you guys are writing that okay ma'am sigma high weightage crash course we are enjoying okay so a similar category like whatever i am doing right now similar crash course is going on wherein we are focusing on high weighted chapters because yes only two months are left and you cannot afford to spend your time in less important things right so this is your love which is uh, consolidated curated in just one slide okay topic number two i think this topic also hot topic every j aspirant should know this Cramer's law okay Cramer's law system of linear equation okay so this is again a j main 2025 pyq sample question i have attached and now you know what this topic so i have given you amazing ninja technique okay Trust me, this is so lengthy. This question becomes so lengthy. It almost takes three minutes. And sometimes there is a risk of calculation error because so many determinants are involved. Okay. So with the help of Ninja technique, you can decode these questions within sometimes 10 seconds also. Okay. So I'll attach again. Check out the description box. I'll attach each and every uh, topic. So I'll give you the link and timestamp. Okay. All right. Then we have third properties of adjoint. Okay. So can you see the category of question every year? J main NTA is favorite. Okay. So this is, I am very sure that we are going to see this in January attempt as well as April attempt as well. Okay. Again, now I won't say that I have a ninja technique, like very like direct shortcut for it. But you know what I have? given you uh, some like ninja style of it so that this is again a very like uh, big big 
lengthy problem which can be reduced and it can be done in two steps okay again ninja style ninja technique is given for this topic also i have taught in various sessions i'll give you the links okay all right let's move on and talk about topic number 4 linear differential equation okay linear differential equation in y as well as in x both are important you know what i have predicted this topic see how can i say predicted it is based on trend analysis and i have told jame in 2025 aspirants also that in 2025 i have a feeling that you will get lde linear differential equation in x and the very next day the very next day i have a video of this also the very next day jame in first paper january attempt happened and the first shift first first shift had a question linear differential equation in x see these questions are short short questions make sure that you are practicing four to five problems at least je mean pyq level problems you are uh, doing okay then topic number 5 product of two vectors again uh, product means is it dot and cross it will be either completely dot or it will be that completely cross or it could be the combination of dot and cross okay so again i'll give you the link also in fact ninja technique is also explained to solve such problems and this is topic number 5 then we have remainder problems ninja man has to done that remainder problems and ninja technique go hand in hand okay made a couple of shots made a couple of videos on it wherein just you see it and you will be like okay i know how to solve remainder problem with easy ninja techniques okay so that also i'm going to give it to you and the next seventh topic which is now this is something you don't need ninja technique to solve this because simple equation solving game will be there sum of ap general term of ap so two equation two unknown just solve it that's it simple i think these type of question is something in fact 10th grader can also solve make sure that you are practicing Four to five of each and every category, so that at least these seven question you can just make sure that okay, at least short short question. So I have done, and one bonus topic which is relation between roots and coefficient. Okay, so again I'll give you the links. I'll give you the this. Check, don't forget to check out the description box. And this is the eighth bonus topic which I have promised you for. And uh, yeah, so if you are looking for such uh ninja techniques of solving such questions i'll keep on making shorts but you know what you have to engage with the videos okay all you have to do is you have to smash the like button and you have to write ninja technique in the comment section so that i get more engagement on this video and uh, i will know that yes you are requiring or needing such techniques i'll keep on making shorts or i'll keep on corporating such shortcuts of mathematics j mathematics in my academic videos as well okay so this is me ninja ma'am signing off and i am going to see you in the next video with amazing ninja technique